This video is going to explain to you the phenomenon of the incumbent's curse and show you how to break the curse in order to achieve unrelenting innovation. The firms Intel, Nokia and Blackberry were innovation giants. Intel dominated the chip market for PC and laptops with 85% share, but has only 1% of the chip market for mobile phones. Something similar happened to Nokia and Blackberry. Nokia dominated the market for mobile phones, but struggled in smartphones. Blackberry dominated the market for smartphones, but ended up missing the touchscreen smartphone. So a pertinent question is, why do large innovative firms fail? Professor Jerry Tellis posits that such failure is due to a self-destructive culture of an incumbent firm. Such a culture focuses on the present, is risk-averse, and clings to its past successful products. As a result, success sows the seeds of failure. In his book, Unrelenting Innovation, How to Create a Culture for Market Dominance, he calls this phenomenon the incumbent's curse. He explains this paradox and describes the culture for unrelenting innovation that firms need to stay competitive in today's global markets. Three essential traits of this culture are focusing on the future, embracing risk, and willingness to cannibalize current successful products. However, these trades are very difficult to acquire in the short term. Tellus suggests three key practices, A, C, E, which can engender these trades. The first key practice is providing asymmetric incentives for innovation. An example of this is Silicon Valley, which has become a hotbed of innovation. Silicon Valley has an environment that provides generous million-dollar valuations for good startups but is also quite forgiving of failures. Another key practice is fostering internal competition. An example is Google that reconfigured as separate potentially competing businesses, each tasked with radical innovations for various markets under a holding company called Alphabet Inc. Empowering champions of innovation is the third key practice. An example is Apple Inc. working with Tony Fidel. Unlike Philips in the Netherlands where Fidel worked, Apple recruited Fidel and empowered him with developing the iPod for the mobile music market. With these traits, any firm, large or small, can achieve and maintain market dominance with a culture for a relentless innovation instead of self-destructive complacency and lethargy, according to Talos. Telus has developed a diagnostic tool that analyzes a firm's culture for unrelenting innovation and compares it with 770 other firms around the world. He provides precise changes in culture to help a firm turn around its internal culture and relaunch on the path to unrelenting innovation. To get an overall view, this model provides these practices and trades to overcome the incumbent's curse for unrelenting innovation. Overall, the key practices ACE and certain culture traits lead to innovation and more important to unrelenting innovation without becoming the victim of the incumbent's curse.